I'm sorry if there's too much cleavage. Whatever. I have boobs. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. How you doing? Glad to have you here. You see as the title. This title is not clickbait. I am a thief. <laughs> I was in elementary, so I was very small. I don't know fourth grade. It might have been fourth grade because I feel like fourth grade was my very rebel little child bad year. <laughs> I would walk to school because it was literally like right down the street. It was like a straight shot to where I lived is literally walked and you're right there. Anyway, so I walked to school, but there was this little, wasn't a gas station, it was like a little mini mark kind of thing. Sometimes I would stop in there and get a candy bar if mom gave me, you know, some money or get some, some a bag of chips for some reason. I don't even know why. I honestly don't know why. Because I, I could have just asked my mom for money and she would have probably given it to me so I can buy things. So for some reason, I felt the need to start stealing. And I don't even remember the first I, like stuff I stole. It was probably like a pencil or like a candy bar or something. I got a thrill out of it, just stealing one item. And I was like, whatever. I think I might have even bought something just to look, you know, not suspicious. And then I started to get really brave. A little too brave and too greedy. I can't tell you how many times I stole from this store. The very last time I got super, super greedy. Don't know why. Don't know what was wrong with me. Don't know why I felt the need to do this. But I know I stole like candy and pencils and I stole, I stole a little stuffed animal beanie baby. Uh, pretty sure it was a bear. But I stuck all this stuff in my NSYNC backpack. That's how young you can tell I am. I stuck everything into my backpack. <laughs> my NSYNC backpack. It was purple. Had NSYNC on the front of it. I love that backpack when I was little. I uh... I took all the stuff and I'm guessing the cashier started to get a little uh, suspicious because I was just going around the store not having anything in my hand but somehow everything was in my backpack. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how it went down. I know I remember very clearly they're like if you don't get out of here. Oh I was also wearing a jacket so I remember having a hoodie on. I was so terrified because the words that came out of their mouth was if you ever come back in the store again I will call the police. So I was banned from that store. Never can go there. You know that how horrible that is to have a store ban you that you walk by every day? <laughs> it was a struggle for the rest of my life. Well, not the rest of my life, but the rest of the time that I lived in that house, it was a nightmare, a complete nightmare. So I left after they told me that and obviously gave all the stuff that I stole. And on my way, <laughs> on my way home, I was freaking out. I think I was crying. Probably was crying. I'm an emotional person. On my way, there's like this little like garage place where there's cars and stuff and there's like a fence and then like, not really a fence, like a little chain link thing. <laughs> I got so scared that I ended up getting rid of my instant backpack. I littered. I'm sorry. I'm young. I'm dumb. I don't know why I didn't just wait until I got home and threw it away, but uh, no. I don't remember if I threw my instinct backpack down or, or if I took it home and then threw it away. I can't remember. But I know that the Beanie Baby, I had that in my pocket on my hoodie and I didn't realize it. So I didn't give him back. I forgot. So I I, <laughs> I took the Beanie Baby out and threw it on the ground in between the cars. And then I want to say I threw my backpack as well, but I don't think I did. I think I took it home and then I cleaned it out and then I um, threw it away. <laughs> Because I was scared that they would recognize me with the instinct backpack. <laughs> Tears. <laughs> I don't know what my mom thought. I think maybe I told her something. Some kind of lie. I can't remember. But this made my life a living hell after the I don't know how many ever years that we lived in this house. Because my mother, because we, you know, it's an easy place to go, quick and easy, walk to it drive to it like stop by while you're going somewhere else my mom would ask me a lot hey will you go and pick this up from the store and I'd be like no I can't sorry uh there was one time that we were in the car and she was driving and we actually went to the store I was terrified I couldn't breathe I was having a panic attack a little 10 year old I think maybe 10 year old me was freaking out and I would like push my seat down all the way and mom would like be like we go and get this out there run in there real quick and get it and I'd be like no and she really got mad at me one time 
like, why won't you go in there? And I'm like, because I don't want to, mom. I don't want to. I, I, and to this day, my mom still doesn't know I did this. To this day. <laughs> That's sad. <sighs> maybe I should tell her one day and maybe make a video out of it. I constantly, every time there would be a knock on the door, anything, or a, a cop car would go by, I would be afraid that they were coming to take me. Legit. I thought they were going to come and take me. I was terrified. For a long time, I was terrified that they were gonna come get me. <laughs> terrified. So that store is no longer there. Well, it's there, but I think they, yeah, they caught, uh, they renamed it. I think they rebranded it. I think they might even rebuild it. I actually want to say they might have torn it down, but I don't think they did. I think they, yeah, there's a new store there. So I don't, I don't live in that area at all anymore. <laughs> But I thought that was a funny story to share with you guys. I've been wanting to share it for a while. And I thought, you know what? It's perfect time. Christmas time. <laughs> Holidays. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was funny and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any funny, stupid stories when you were kids down below because I really want to know because I would love to hear every single one of your guys' stories. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I post every Wednesday on the channel and I also do daily vlogging on another channel. So if you want to check that out, that'll be in the description below. And I also stream on Twitch every Sunday through Thursday, sometimes Friday and Saturday. Please check me out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please be brave and have a wonderful day. Bye.